Yo, what's going on guys? Tag here. Welcome back to Noob to Godly. This is a series where we start... Really? You you're seriously gonna use that right now as soon as I do my intro, bro? That's so loud. So yeah, this is the series where we started all over again from level 1 and we're working way... Oh my days, bro. This man's needs to stop, okay? Just... The... Oh my, that's so loud. Okay. This is the series where we started over again from level 1, working our way up with no Robux or Game Passes. So yeah, we're also following a certain amount of rules which I explained in episode 2. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you do enjoy the series, guys, be sure to give it a like, subscribe for you, turn on notifications, and let's get into today's episode. So last episode, guys, we were a warrior. As you can see, we still are a warrior. And I went through the feedback in the comments down below, and a lot of people suggest that I switch over to Mage because I did struggle just a little bit, guys. I wasn't able to do hardcore because of the minions on Winter Outpost, especially solo. It's pretty difficult to like keep them distracted whilst defeating the boss. So so we're going to switch over to Mage to see how we do. And guys, my daily question for you today is, what would your dream vacation be? If you could go anywhere in the world, vacation, holiday, where would you go and why? Let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, in last episode, I got a bunch of Mage things. Like, we got these Ice Needles. Uh, we got, you know, Holy Grail. I don't know if that's the best one. Probably isn't, to be honest, is it? Oh, it is. And I'm pretty sure we got some Mage Armor as well. So let's go ahead and sell all the items that I do not need. Bell. Bell. All right. Uh, image robes. Yes, please. Thank you very much there. Okay. So then we got this, this, this. And we got innovate with ice needles. All right. So there we go. We have now switched over to mage. All right. So the next thing we need to do is reset our skill points. Smack them up on spell power. All right. Let's see how much damage we do with the needles. Bruh. You want to chill out with that? One, two, three, four. Okay, so it does four ticks. Okay, so if we use our Innovate and use the Ice Needles, for four ticks, we do 1.7k damage per shot. All right, guys, so let's go ahead. Winter, easy. I'm just going to see how well we do, and then I'll move on to Hardcore to see if we can do it. Let's go. All right, there we go. Let's go. Let's see how... The, let's see if Mage makes the big difference for me to be able to do this, okay? Let's see if... Oh my days, bruv. Yo, mage, man. Mage is the way. Holy, the big difference right there. Yo, I can already tell I can do hardcore now. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know what? You know what, guys? You know what? Seriously? You know what? I'm just gonna go jump off the map, bruh. Alright, so yeah, I'm actually able to do medium now as well. So I might just move straight onto medium to see if I can do medium. And if not, I can always go back to easy hardcore. So we're going to give medium a go to see if I can do that without any troubles. So yeah, let's see if we can get some medium items. Alright, so let me know in the comments, guys. Do you want me to keep switching classes or do you want me to just like blitz through the maps and try and complete the series? Or not complete it, but like try and get to the end as quick as I can. Like to where I can unlock the underworld and like try out the new updates with like the new series. Because hopefully this weekend there might be an update. I'm not saying there is. But I'm just hoping there will be. I'm really, 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 really excited for a new update, guys. Because, like I've mentioned in the last few videos, I've been getting bored of Dungeon Quest on my main account. And that is the reason why I made a new series and started playing other games. I have not been focusing on my main account whatsoever. So, I'm hoping there will be a new update. And, yeah, just let me know in the comments, guys. Should I c continue to challenge myself for this series? Or do you want me to blitz through it to the point where I can, like, play the new updates on this account? You know what I mean? So just let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Shall I try and catch up to my main account before the new update? Or should I just like keep challenging myself throughout the series? And damn, these take some time to die. They have so much more health than all the other mods, these minions. But again, you can still kill them whilst running away. So that's pretty cool. And that's what uh, makes it a lot easier being a mage. You got the range then. Alright, you can just like walk around in circles and keep your distance. Because they're not too fast. A few moments later. Bro, why are they getting so fast? Yo, chill, bro.
all right, so I don't know if you actually noticed the pattern there, guys. Every time we, like, we're a warrior, we get loads of mage stuff. But then when we switch over to mage, we get a ton of warrior stuff. Like, we got all this, like, warrior stuff. We got guardian stuff. We actually ended up getting gale slices. Now, that would have been a big, big help for last episode. And we also got also another ice needles as well. So, I think, you know, as a warrior last episode, if we had gale slices, we could have potentially did it. But, you know, we've now, start to, we've now started to get some more spells. Um, so, our best... Weapon for mage right now would be the spell dagger. So I'm gonna go ahead now and upgrade that. Unfortunately, we didn't get any better armor, but you know, this is actually gonna go, go ahead and do a little bit more damage than what we currently got. So let me go ahead and sell this real quick. Um, we also, we didn't get any upgrades of mage armor. You still need a mage hat. We also need like an upgrade of mage roast, but we did get an upgraded weapon. And now we have two spice needles as well as like the lightning strike. So, anyways, let's see how much more damage that we do. With the four ticks that we've got. Alright, mate, stop flexing your damage. Oh, okay, I figured it out, boys. You just gotta keep your distance and you're good, alright? So, yeah, still don't do enough damage to take them out or anything like that, but we definitely did get a few upgrades. And obviously, we now do enough damage to take out the boss. But if you keep your distance, you should be good. As you can see, they're all just like gang. They're all just gathering up into one spot. And if you keep your distance, we're all Gucci. Look at that. We can actually go ahead and probably do hardcore now. Get those extra items. And boom. There we go. Since the boss dies. Yo, let's go. We got an upgrade, boys. You ready for all the minions, bro? Run for your life, bro! Yeah. Oh. Okay. Really? That's all I get? That's all I get? Alright, guys. So, I've been grinding and I've completely lost my train of thought because Roblox have just sent me redeemable Robux codes to give away to you guys, which is so, so kind of them and really, really awesome. So, I'm running a Robux giveaway on my Twitter at TankerOfficial, but with the progress of the game, I do have a full inventory. I've just been straight grinding. We're level 47. And we actually ended up getting a purple Dragon Slayer Blade, purple Forgotten Guardian Armor, a few blues right here, even Warrior. So it looks like I'm actually starting to get some Warrior stuff for maybe the myth of me being a Warrior. So maybe the myth is true, guys. If you're a mage, you get warrior stuff. If you're a warrior, you get mage stuff. I don't know if that's confirmed or not, but every time I switch classes, I ended up getting, like, other class stuff. But anyways, guys, that is the end of this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like in the video. Subscribe if you turn on notifications. And yeah, guys, the giveaway is running on my Twitter right now if you want to go ahead and win some Robux there. So that's really, really awesome. So yeah. Let me know what I should do for the next episode. We just lost connection anyways. Great timing. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so for more information about the Robux giveaway, I feel like, you know, a lot of people are confused. Like, I didn't explain it well enough. Like, there is a lot of, like, young children out there that probably have no idea what Twitter is or even have an account. So if you're able to get on your parents' account or even make an account, all you need is an email and password. And what you want to do is come over to my community tab page on my channel right here. And there will be a thing right here that says... Roblox has sent redeemable Roblox codes, so I'll be giving away three of them on my Twitter, which is true. Roblox have sent all the people in the Star Program codes to be able to go away and give back to their fans. So what you want to do is click on this link, and you'll have to be logged in to obviously enter, because the rules to win is just to follow my Twitter, which is at TankerOfficial. Retweet and like the tweet, which means, you know, you can like it, you can retweet it just by clicking this button right here, and then it'll end in 24 hours. So yeah, if you can't, if you haven't got a Twitter, I'll be doing one on YouTube and on Discord as well. So guys, make sure you join my Discord. Link in the description down below. The Discord link is just discord.gg slash tanker because it's a partner Discord. But yeah, like I said, that is the end of the video. Let me know what I should do in the next episode. I'll go ahead and read all your comments and it really is much appreciated. Thank you all so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I know. Two outros. I get it. I I'm sorry. I just had to explain this. But yeah, peace out.